Alright everybody, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play review. Today we have Magic Mouse. So I was looking at these controls and I got a I got a little bit overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie, but at least when the game starts it has a tutorial and that's kinda how I learned the controls, so don't worry too much about trying to figure out what all this means before the game starts. Uh because I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> but this is like a top down arcade shooter kind of game. And it's like survival. There's floors you go through, there's like 10 in total. And you get different spells. Granted, your magic missile or whatever that spell is called, the purple one, is probably the best spell in the game. Combine it with the ice wall. Ice wall plus magic missile is by far the strongest spell. So, this is a tutorial. The dummies don't really fight back, but you can practice your aim. And when I was doing this, I was like, man, my aim sucks. Because you know how it like kind of focuses off of if you're moving and you're aiming somewhere, the aim's going to get a little bit off, so it's throwing me off a bit. There's only six spells in this game, though. Six spells plus your base spell, which is the magic missile. At least the magic missile is unlimited, and it's your pretty much your best spell because it's got the furthest range for like the easiest amount of mechanics. But this is the burning bolt, and it kind of works like a rumble kind of thing. Not exactly like a ball because you can't just start the line from anywhere, you have to start it from yourself. And that does burn damage. It's not bad, you can shoot it pretty quickly. It's a little bit hard to aim and shoot quickly though. Once you get the hang of it though, this game, once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad at all. There's some really like, intense bullet hell things though. Because the further you get in the 10 levels, like, there are a lot of different types of en enemies. But they don't do enough damage to make it too big of a threat. I only died once to actual enemies, and then two deaths were from ob obstacle deaths you'll see later in the video, I'll kind of explain. That was like the most deaths I had in the game. So it starts out pretty easy, like they just shoot one thing, but it gets pretty advanced as the game goes on. You'll have some that shoot three at one time, some that just repetitively, repetitively shoot, some that shoot a white one that hits into the wall and they'll like split out and hit everything. And then these traps. Traps are the biggest threat in this game. <laughs> One, because I'm dumb. Like, I already got hit by that and I just walked right back into it. But nothing does really enough damage. This is your ice beam. And it's pretty useful. If you have enough of this saved up before the boss, also you have like a finite amount of ammo until you pick up more. But if you have enough for this for the boss, you can permanently freeze them. And there are boss fights in this game. It's every three floors and level 10. You get like a back-to-back -back boss from 9 to 10. One thing, if they wanted to make this a little bit more challenging of a game, is they would have made it where you would have had to beat it all in one run, instead of when you die in this game, you automatically go back to the floor you was on. I feel like they should have done the, you have to do it all in one run, because it, one, it would have made it more challenging, and two, it's not that hard that you can't do it. Literally, the only deaths you'll have once you get the game figured out is to the boss, probably your first one, and this is Ignition. Ignition's cool, it just doesn't do enough damage. Like, it only does the one damage for the burn over and over again, but you can put it wherever. It's not that great. It's kind of good for hitting things around walls and destroying items, but it's probably one of the worst spells in the game. Looks cool, though. But yeah, so... What was I saying? Oh yeah, the boss, he's pretty challenging if you don't know how to cheese him. Once you figure out how to cheese him, though, he's so easy. <laughs> like, there's, it's not challenging at all. Your frost wall spell you get... This is the actual rumble spell, pretty much. Yeah, the, this isn't like the best spell in the game, because it's, it's kind of a little bit inaccurate, but you can snipe things around walls, so that's broken for like the mob fights. But you can see from that, like it gets pretty intense bullet hell sometimes if you're surrounded. Some of the rooms are, the rooms seem to be pre, uh, not pre-generated, they're um, randomly generated when you start. And this is the fireball spell, this one took me a while to figure out, because I thought I could just drop it on him, but you gotta actually launch it from your character or from an angle and shoot it at him. As you will see right here. Yeah, you just gotta kinda throw it at him. And the more you charge it, the more damage it does. It's not that great either. It does the most damage by far though. So this is the boss fight. And you'll see the best spell combo in the game for beating him. You use the ice wall, freeze him, and then you do the magic missile. And the magic missile does more damage while he's frozen, so you just pretty much rinse, wash, and repeat. Once you figure out how the spells work, this game's not challenging at all. You shouldn't have too many problems with it if you're like semi-decent bullet hell mechanics. You just have to dodge a lot. 
But yeah, I wish there were more spells and maybe... I feel like the length was good for the game because even if they put a leaderboard, which would have been kind of neat, the game gets kind of old. <laughs> like, it stops being challenging after a bit. You get enough health in the game and you get enough shields that you shouldn't be challenging. You shouldn't ever be worried about dying to enemies once you get it figured out. And you get so many coins that you're never going to run out of money. Like, you get a, like so many coins, you're going to stop picking them up because it's just a waste of your time, to be honest. Oh, man. But yeah, it takes a while to beat the boss, but once you have this ice thing down, it's not bad at all. When you're not using the ice thing, though, he has a lot of stuff to use on you. Plus, those spike pits in the floor make it really limit your movement, which is bad. <laughs> he has, like, a lot of attacks, though, that he can use if you don't freeze him. And so you can fall into holes on the ground. This is the most deadly thing in the game, is falling into those holes. Because you fall into them, and it's an instant death. I knew there was going to be a mechanic that killed me instantly. And I, it was <laughs> it took me by shock a pretty good amount. But this game gets a 6 out of 10. It's a little bit above average. Like, there's a decent amount of spells to use. I wish there were more. And it ends at a good point. Like, I was feeling pretty challenged until it ended. Well, not really at the end, but at the start it was pretty challenging. And it, it's pretty intense at certain points because you get shot. If you're trying to dodge everything, it gets pretty hard. Wish there were some achievements or something. That'd be kind of cool. But thanks for watching as always. Please like and subscribe. And thank you guys for all the support so far. Bye!